Today, we'll take a glittering tour around the valuables of two royal sisters, Princess Eugenie of York and Princess Beatrice of York, the members of the British royal family. Both are daughters of Prince Andrew, Duke of York, and Sarah, Duchess of York, but Princess Eugenie is a bit younger. She's 34, while Beatrice is 35. Both are married. Eugenie to a British marketing executive, Jack Brooksbank, and Beatrice, to a British property developer, Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi. Are there any differences in their tastes in jewellery? Undoubtedly. Let's compare the princess's bridal jewellery and see whether there is a more outstanding one. In this video, we'll examine the tiaras, earrings and rings the princesses wore at their weddings. Princess Eugenie of York Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooksbank met in 2010, while skiing at the Swiss resort of Verbier. They were introduced by mutual friends during a holiday trip where they immediately hit it off. Their relationship continued to grow over the years, leading to their engagement in early 2018 and their wedding later that year. Being the 11th royal family member in the line of succession to the British throne, Princess Eugenie does, however, undertake occasional public engagements, mostly charities, for which she needs an elegant, refined look. Jewelry immensely helps her with that. You might agree there's no such symbol of royalty as a tiara. Thus, let's start with Eugenie's tiara preferences. Greville Emerald Kokoschnik Princess Eugenie had her first tiara moment on her wedding day at St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle in the United Kingdom in 2018. She couldn't have worn diadems in public before, as it's part of the royal tradition. Her tiara choice was somewhat unexpected. Most people expected her to wear the York Diamond Tiara her mother, Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York, wore to her wedding to Prince Andrew, Duke of York, in 1986. However, Princess Eugenie settled on a stunning Greville Emerald Kokoschnik. The emerald and diamond tiara served as her something borrowed from the Queen. She matched it with a custom-designed Peter Pilotto wedding dress. The fabric was intricately woven with meaningful motifs, including symbols representing the couple's heritage, such as a thistle for Scotland, a shamrock for Ireland, the York Rose, and ivy to represent their home. Princess Eugenie's decision to showcase her scoliosis scar with a low back design added a personal touch and highlighted her bravery and advocacy for those with the condition. The dress was celebrated for its elegance, modernity, and the meaningful details that reflected both tradition and the couple's personal style. The princess skipped a traditional long veil, which is customary for royal weddings. Princess Eugenie chose to wear the late queen's stunning diamond and emerald headpiece in a show of self-determination and modernity. Thus, some royal fans who had speculated that the Princess of York would don the York Diamond Tiara were slightly disappointed. However, let's take a closer look at the Greville Emerald Kokoschnik to see if there was a reason for frustration. Parisian jewellery house Boucheron created the gorgeous piece for British socialite dame Margaret Greville in 1919. By the way, we have a separate video on Mrs. Greville's collection, so check it out to see her other opulent pieces. There, we describe her other valuable tiara and many diamond sparklers. Margaret Greville was close with the royal family and had no kids, so she bequeathed the magnificent bandeau tiara to Queen Elizabeth in 1942. After the Queen Mother passed in 2002, the platinum and diamond tiara was passed to her daughter, Queen Elizabeth II. The tiara features a striking centerpiece, a 93.7 carat emerald surrounded by a halo of diamonds and six smaller emeralds. Princess Eugenie decided to make the tiara the highlight of her look. She kept her hair in a plain, loose chignon and wore no veil. 
Her only other accessories were matching diamond and emerald drop earrings presented to her by the groom. We'll examine this gorgeous pair of earrings later. This tiara is also unique in another way. The precious piece was rarely seen and had never been worn in public by a member of the royal family until Princess Eugenie of York's wedding day. In 2019, she said, It was the most incredible thing to wear such a piece of history that my grandmother had lent me. Very proud moment, and the beautiful earrings were a gift from my husband. It might be the most expensive royal wedding tiara the late Queen Elizabeth II had loaned. It costs even more than the Queen Mary Bando tiara the Duchess of Sussex wore in 2018 and the Queen Mary Fringe tiara Princess Beatrice donned in. We'll describe the latter diadem a bit later. Engagement Ring When Queen Elizabeth's granddaughter, Princess Eugenie of York, became engaged to Jack Brooksbank, he presented her a magnificent ring with the rare Padparadsha Sapphire. The ring design is similar to that Princess Eugenie of York's mother received from Prince Andrew, Duke of York, in 1986. Its style also resembles the iconic engagement ring of Catherine, Princess of Wales. The center stone is an exceptional rare type of sapphire that resonates with collectors. Colored in a specific shade of pink and orange, it's among the few sapphires to receive the designation of Padparacha on a gem certificate. These stones didn't experience heat treatment and cost up to $50,000 per carat at auction. Jack Brooksbank picked this exact ring for his bride since it reminded him of Princess Eugenie of York. He liked that the gem changed colors in different lights. Initially, the piece only included the Padparadsha Sapphire, and Brooksbank then asked a jeweler to add the diamonds. Now, seven round diamonds surround the Padparadsha Sapphire, and there are two pear-shaped side gemstones. The band is yellow gold, and the metal around the diamond is reportedly platinum. The jeweler's name has not been revealed. The Padparadsha Sapphire reportedly weighs around five carats, making the ring a worthy treasure. If you like the theme of engagement rings as much as we do, please watch our video about the top 10 famous engagement rings. There, we describe the ring Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, gave to the future Queen Elizabeth II. Do you remember the stunning earrings Princess Eugenie of York wore on her wedding day? It's time to tell you more about them. Diamond and emerald drop style earrings. These sparklers were evidently the princess's something new on her wedding day. Jack Brooksbank presented them to his bride as a symbol of their marital bond. The chic drop style earrings are created of diamonds and emeralds. The pair perfectly matched her wedding tiara. By the way, Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York, also made some gifts for the occasion. She gave precious tie pins to the groom and his best man, younger brother Thomas. The design featured the white rose of York and the Padparadsha sapphire to match the stone in the princess's engagement ring. These were the top bridal jewels Princess Eugenie of York is widely famous for. Now it's time to turn to her older sister, Princess Beatrice of York. As we've mentioned, Beatrice served as her maid of honor at Princess Eugenie's wedding. Let's see which sparklers she chose for such a significant occasion. Princess Beatrice of York. Dressed in electric blue, Princess Beatrice of York wore more jewelry than usual for her younger sister's wedding. She even wore a pair of earrings, likely clip-ons, since her ears aren't pierced. A lovely little diamond bee brooch was the next piece that complemented her elegant outfit. Diamond Bee Brooch This delicate bee-shaped brooch was pinned to the neckline of Princess Beatrice of York's dress at the wedding of Princess Eugenie of York and Jack Brooksbank in 2018. It was a nod to the coat of arms belonging to her mother, Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York, which features a bee perched atop a bundle of thistles. 
Except for this occasion, Princess Beatrice is considered an underrated jewellery star deserving all the praise. For her own wedding to real estate developer Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi, Princess Beatrice of York chose a gorgeous diamond fringe tiara. Queen Mary Diamond Fringe Tiara Princess Beatrice of York reportedly chose this historic diamond sparkler to match the vintage Norman Hartnell wedding dress also borrowed from Queen Elizabeth II's closet. The ornamentation of the dress implied the tiara to be all pure diamonds. To personalize the dress for Princess Beatrice of York, it was tailored and slightly altered. The adjustments included adding organza sleeves and adjusting the hemline to fit Beatrice perfectly. Princess Elizabeth, as she was known back in 1947, wore the Queen Mary tiara on her own wedding day to Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. Quite a fascinating story happened then. Just hours before the royal 1947 wedding, the diamond tiara Princess Elizabeth had planned to wear snapped in two when her hairdresser tried to secure it to her veil. Considering how many people were about to watch or tune into the wedding, it looked like a bride's nightmare. The fringe tiara was quite antique. In 1919, the royal jeweler Garrard created it for Queen Mary, Queen Elizabeth's grandmother. Elizabeth loaned it as something borrowed from the Queen Mother. The tiara featured an intricate design of rows of diamond spikes in a fringe pattern. It could also be worn as a necklace. So, how did the tiara-breaking episode end? Princess Elizabeth was obviously upset by the unfortunate incident. When the tiara snapped, the Queen Mother told her they still had two hours and there were other tiaras. Those hours proved vital. Garrard was on standby if something was about to happen, and the broken fringe tiara was swiftly transported to the jeweler's workshop under police escort. Garrard welded it back together and returned to the Princess Elizabeth just before she wore it to the wedding ceremony. After such a historical drama, not many brides would risk putting the same tiara on their heads on their wedding day. Princess Beatrice did. Her wedding differed from her grandmother's, with no pre-publicity or fanfare. Close family and friends had to swear to secrecy about the wedding ceremony at the Royal Chapel of All Saints Church. Do you remember Beatrice's ears are not pierced? The princess wore no earrings at her wedding. Engagement Ring Princess Beatrice of York and Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi met through mutual friends, and were known to have moved in similar social circles for some time. Their relationship was officially confirmed in March 2019, and they became engaged in September 2019 during a romantic trip to Italy. The engagement was announced by the royal family, accompanied by beautiful photos taken by Princess Eugenie of York, Beatrice's sister. The couple's love story culminated in an intimate wedding ceremony held on July 17, 2020 at the Royal Chapel of All Saints at Royal Lodge, Windsor, attended by close family members. Considering that Princess Beatrice's wedding was quite non-traditional, the ceremony was intimate, you might wonder whether her engagement ring was as unique. Yes, actually it broke with the royal tradition. We'll further explain how. The groom, Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi collaborated with British jeweler Sean Lean for several months to craft a stunning diamond ring that matched Beatrice's innovative and creative spirit and still honored the British royal family. The fiancé wanted to fuse two elements into one ring, Princess Beatrice's love of Victorian style and his passion for Art Deco. Thus, a ring combines both aesthetics. The platinum band boasts a 2.5-carat round center stone, two smaller round diamonds, and a nearly 0.8-carat gemstone on either side. Eduardo proposed to Princess Beatrice of York with the ring during a trip to Italy in 2019. Many of their wedding plans were altered due to the pandemic, but their engagement went according to plan. Now, 
Princess Beatrice's engagement ring is a symbol of British resilience during hard times. These were the gorgeous bridal jewels of British royal members, three for each sister. Which compilation do you like more? Please share your ideas with us. Also, let us know if you'd like us to tell you about other personalized pieces of the British princesses. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing for more content like this.